Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm John and uh, today we're gonna do a little unboxing video. Uh, I know some of you like them, some don't, but uh, I think it would be fun to do a little unboxing, first impressions, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, first of all, I got this CVV new today and I'm very excited about it. It is uh, CVV Elementum and uh, I think we're gonna save that for last. And then I got a huge box from a Danish collector friend of mine, uh, Lars. I got a screaming deal of some very nice knives. I hope uh, that's what he said. So um, these sort of have been unboxed before, but uh, they're new to me and I was promised that they would be very nice. So, uh, Without further ado, we have a uh, Ganso, I will just push the rest of it aside. And a Ganso 765, uh, sorry, 7651, and uh, one of the latest, uh, later Firebirds. And uh, since uh, since uh, my friend, uh, collector friend, already had it open, I've, I'm not sure what it looks like in the pouch, but I think it would be something like this. Anyways, I digress. This is the box, an ordinary cardboard box, and uh, yeah, uh, that's what all the fireworks come in. And then we have a green, oh sorry, grave, gray knife. Uh, an access, or as Ganso chooses to call them, a G-Lock. And uh, let's try it on for size. Very nice looking. Yeah, it opens quite nicely. And it is drop surely, as you can see. Very nice indeed, very nice action. And the blade shape, yeah, sort of a drop point, clip point, nice as well, feels well in hand, a rather deep carry pocket clip, looks very nice indeed. Ganso have been with the latest uh, editions of the FH Firebirds, they've been shooting it out of the ballparks, more or less. Very nice knives indeed, and uh, this is no exception. Most of the other ones have been flippers, but uh, there's this one, G-Lock, and uh, it feels very nice. The Ganso G-Lock system is a little, um, yeah, what, how, what do you say, harder to disengage. It feels a little tighter in the access lock, you can't Almost, yeah, you can almost do it with one finger, but it gets a bit uncomfortable. Living up to the quality of the other F FHs, yeah, although favors the presentation side a little bit on the censoring, I have to admit. Haven't taken this one apart or anything yet, so I'll probably get that corrected. But out of the box, very nice. Okay, I'm gonna have a little sip of my coffee. Uh, yeah. And uh, the next one, a little more questionable. It is a uh, clone, I guess. Uh, Lovoco, and it, this is a clone of the Shirobara of Hattie knife. And uh, yeah, let's call it an homage. And uh, the Hattie knife is uh, discontinued, so this is uh, sort of what you can get these days of the design and I was promised that this would be uh, some of the best action I've ever encountered so uh, we'll see about that in a little while just want to show you this very beautiful G10 and frame lock um, titanium on the other side also very beautiful 
as I said, it is a clone of a thousand dollar knife, and uh, I don't have thousand dollars for a knife, so uh, yeah, it's like Ganso's. It is not branded as a Shirogorov, so I think it's sort of kind of okay, also because it is a discontinued knife. But let's try it out. Yeah, that was indeed a very nice twack. And as we can see, a very nice blade, set and finish. Uh, and in this case, a D2 blade. Uh, I think the original would be a little higher steel, a little higher quality steel, but uh, D2 is quite okay for me. And um, very beautiful, very simple blade shape, and it is as sharp as a razor lies nicely in hand. Let's look at the closing action. Very nice too. Yeah, it just not drop shoddy, but uh, it's more of that hydraulic, hydraulic uh, feeling that I like so much. And it snaps out even though it is a bit of a heavy blade and closes very, very nicely milled out pocket clip and lock bar insert centered yeah, I can see that you probably can but it's centered perfectly and very nicely rounded off yeah I like that a lot I think I'm gonna be so happy with this one and uh, I don't know if you can I, you can probably not hear it. It has a little bit of a, a not a gritty sound, but it has a sound when it closes. So I'm looking forward to cleaning this up and make it any even smoother because that is amazingly smooth as it is. I don't know, I'll just put it near my microphone. Can you hear? I think this will be even smoother. It's not like it has any blade play or anything. It is smooth, but it still has a little bit of a sound. So I think I can make it even smoother and I'm looking very much forward to that. So, a Luvuku Hati. And uh, as I told you, I bought this in um, uh, with a collector friend. So I think maybe not all is here, but it is a very nice pouch, very soft material and has a cleaning cloth. And I suppose there was something more in this, but uh, yeah, I can only show you what I got. And this is an extremely nice pouch. Look at how, look at how thick it is. I'm looking very much forward to this and I hope to make a review of it um, as you those of you who follow me, uh, I have a lot of knives uh, in the pipeline and I hope to get around to this one eventually as well. So, and the next one, um, some of you may be familiar with it, it's not a new knife, it's a CH knife and this is the so-called skull knife and you can see why. And I again, I probably I think it probably didn't come like this uh, in the box, but this is how I got it, and I'm trying it out for the first time. And it is oh, it has some weight to it, very st sort of sturdy feeling, <coughs> and uh, I don't know if this comes through the camera but the anodization is absolutely beautiful and this is of course titanium and you can argue about the skull but uh, very detailed and of course it gives the handle a bit of, of grabbiness and then we have this uh, funny flipper tab milled out and a very nice pivot screw this looks extremely nice the colors so so beautiful actually very very beautiful anodization milled out pocket clip 
yeah. And this is uh, not a, it's not Skolmarif, it's not its name, it's called CH3504. And let's try it on for size. And the action is absolutely beautiful. And you can see this nice blade. Very, very sharp. Uh, this time my, my collector friend promised me that he didn't do anything to the to the edges of these knives. So um, this is pristine and it is screaming sharp out of the box. Let's just... Uh, oh, it has almost or even better action than the previous one. And yeah, it has a very very nice ball bearing feeling about it also that hydraulic feeling try to listen to that sound when it's just down snaps out and it is a very very beautiful knife if you like skulls uh, but still I, I, I don't know i would have settled for just the blue anodized i don't need the skull but uh, the, that's the way this knife is. It's a very heavy knife, but I could easily have gone without the, the, the skull, but yeah, I guess it, it's there. Um, but look at the look at the other side, how beautiful it would be without the skull. Still, yeah, very, very nice knife. I like this a lot and it is so smooth. This goes on ordinary ball bearings. The previous, the Hati clone, is on uh, ceramic ball bearings, but I think they are very close to each other in the action. And they are, as far as I remember, quite expensive Chinese knives. And we are, I think we are above a hundred dollars, still rather cheap uh, when, when you think of them. The materials is, is, is 35 VN and titanium, very, very nice. Another one I'm definitely going to do a review about because I already like it very much. Beautiful, beautiful knife and it feels so good in hand. Yeah. Last but not least, the Civivi, and this is one I purchased for the full amount. And this is the Civivi Elementum, and all Civivi knives comes in a little pouch as well, so there was room for that. And I think the price is around uh, around seventy seventy five dollars. Let's have a look at this. And in this, you, of course, you get instructions and uh, even some labels. That's, that's new. Very nice. I could probably get some use on the reviewing table for those. And a cleaning cloth. And a knife. And this is, yeah, this is a smaller knife. Uh, let's yeah, let's do a quick let's do a quick size comparison with the other. This is definitely a small knife, and I think one of the smallest Civivis so far. I think it's nice that Civivi does some smaller knives. Uh, some of these Chinese brands have a tendency to do mostly bigger big knives, but uh, Civivi went. And listen, because I think that uh, a lot of people are sort of happy with smaller knives. And what did they do? They rounded off the flipper. Nearly all of other civil knives, including one I rounded off myself. I did it on camera, so you could see it. But this one is nicely rounded off. Very nice little knife, and I like this gray, grayish G10 Civivi logo. Deep, deep carry pocket clip. Lanyard hole. Let's try it. 
yeah that is the action that I expect from those reviews it just has a special action it is not like the other ones it's not drop shotty and of course the blade is other the blade is also very much lighter than the others but still has an amazing action and good sound and a very classic blade shape and just a jimping with just amount, the right amount of of uh, gripping what you call it coarseness uh, very nice I kind of like this and as I have liked almost all of the CVVs some people say they are not sort of the bee's knees in every respect sorry I needed some coffee again I'm losing my voice I'm trying out screaming sharp and uh, hollow grind and I switch I even switch on top everything is nicely rounded off and in this case the pocket clip sort of disappears in your hand that's nice too very nice knife I think this is, this is about the smallest Civivi do I have one I have the one of those Civivi here that's larger and I think the other ones are actually in some pockets around the house but you can definitely see the the size difference here so CVV is listening that uh, when maybe not all want the bigger knives all the time this is definitely a knife in the smaller range I am definitely gonna make a review of this I have this one and the Anthropos coming up very soon and of course all the others come up in between uh, I think this was a nice score actually quite some nice knives in all sizes and uh, yeah, mainly the bigger ones but uh, you're gonna see them reviewed uh, as, as uh, it, it is possible for me time and job and so on permitting so I hope you liked this sort of just a bit of knife porn for you um, and um, if you did uh, leave a like uh, subscribe leave a comment if you want and uh, have a nice day evening whatever it is in your country bye bye